this is Mr. Kelly. This is just a quick tutorial on um, having a link for Google Meet to send to you and following through the process, okay? Normally, you, you should receive either on the Google Classroom or on Classroom Dojo a link that the teacher sent to you so that you guys can experience each other face-to-face -face virtually. I'm going to go through the process from just logging in from the Google homepage, okay? Your students should already be have their information to get logged into Google. I'm going to go to my apps and I'm going to go to my email. In my email, I have a wonderful teacher who has sent me an email and she has invited me to a Google Meet. And so the information that I need is here when you see the joining info, okay? I'm going to just simply click here. And that's the link that will take me to the Google Meet, all right? And you'll see no one else is here. It's because I'm a little early, all right? Now, if I want to go ahead and join, I'm going to click on Join Now, all right? Another way to get to this page, I'm going to X out of this. Another way to get to this page is to simply use your Google Apps, and you'll go to Meet, okay? Normally, you'll see all of the scheduled meetings over here, and there's a Google Meet Parent video that's already established for me. And I'm just simply joining. And once again, you'll see no one else is here, but I can go ahead and go in the room now. And so I'm going to click join now. Now, once you get on this call, you're going to see a video screen where you'll see yourself, okay? And um, I apologize for rocking the hoodie, but... Um, it's early in the morning and I'm cold. Anyway, I'm going to take you through some of the aspects of this, um, this feature. Anytime you go into a video chat room, you want to make sure that as a student, you want to make sure that your mic is muted. Once your mic is muted, you will see a slash down here with the red symbol. A lot of time it's hard for teachers to speak over a lot of things in the classroom. In a virtual way, it's the same way. If we have a lot of background noise going on, we're going to ask the students mute their microphones, okay? When it's time for them to speak, they just simply have to click this icon, and then you'll see that the red disappears and the slash disappears, okay? Also, you want to make sure that if anything happens where um, you don't want the child to show their faces video-wise, just simply... Click this slash right here, and once you click on this icon, then you can't. your face is not visible to everyone else, okay? Now, as you guys can see, my wonderful teacher, that's Mrs. Rowe. Hi, Ms. Rowe. And there are some other aspects that I want to show you. On this other side, you'll see more options. And these options, one thing that you need to know, we can record meetings, but everyone has to give consent in the meeting to record. OK, and then you'll see change layout. Once you see change layout, this icon will give a sidebar of who's on the call with you. This is a tiled where you'll see individual faces and then you'll see a spotlight where the main person who's talking, they'll come across the screen. OK, but as a default, they'll keep you in the auto mode. Also, there's a chat feature. If you look on this right side, you'll see a chat feature where down here at the bottom, you can chat with whomever in the group. It can go to everyone and once you press enter, it's going to go out. And so there, there are no paragraph writing, things like that. Once you press enter, it's going to be accessed, okay? Also, you'll be able to see the people who are on the chat. Parents, students, this is the basic way to use Google Meet. Uh, this is a wonderful way that we'll be able to stay in contact with each other face to face. And I'm going to sign off right now in this meeting. Thank you so much, my wonderful teacher. And have a great day, ma'am. So in order for me to sign off, in order, for, in order for me to leave the call, I just simply place this red icon in the middle. 
and I'm off the call. Okay. And so you'll see you left the meeting. If you want to rejoin, if it was an accident, you can click rejoin right here or you can return to the home screen. This is nothing more than a survey that you will be asked to do. You don't have to do that. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, this will conclude our video presentation on the instruction of using Google Meet. Thank you so much. Have a great day.